Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Cam. Today we're going to look at Breguet. Today in the studio we have actually the Breguet Tradition watch. So for those who don't know, Breguet was invented in 1775 by none other than Abraham Louis Breguet. Abraham Louis Breguet is probably most known to most people by inventing the tourbillon. What most people probably don't know is that he was one of the most influential watchmakers of all times. What is also very cool to know is that Urwerk actually created one of the latest, uh, you know, crazy timepieces based on the old Breguet Sympathique clock, which actually features a clock and then you put the pocket watch on it and then, then it synchronizes the time, so it's uh, consistent and the same. I'm very fortunate to live also in Zurich where actually the Bayer Museum on the Bahnhofstrasse has one in its museum, so I saw it a few times already. It's really unique and there's not many in the world. What most people maybe remember Breguet by is the Type 20, 21, 22 timepieces, which were created in the 50s for the French Naval Air Army. I really advise you to go check out Breguet in general to read about his history, maybe buy some books and dig deep into it. You will discover some really cool things and also see how important he really was and what all he invented. Today we're going to talk about the tradition watch. It's actually a very unconventional watch that was introduced in 2005. This was in fact one of the first wristwatches at Breguet that had an open worked face like this. The face of this watch is reminiscent of a Breguet pocket watch. You will see similarities uh, mostly in the bridges here. The Breguet tradition is actually my favorite line from the brand. And today we have the reference 7057 here in white gold, which is just beautiful. You see a bit of unusual time display here, so the dial is actually off-centered at 12 o'clock. It's a gold dial, which has been hand guilloched and applied with this black coating on it, and also features Roman numerals. What's also notable and very, you know, typical for Breguet watches is the number on the bottom of the dial here. From 8 to 9 o'clock here, next to the dial, you can see there's actually a power reserve indicator, which is also mirror polished. This movement has a 50 hour power reserve, which is great because it's a hand wound movement. What I also love is the big contrast between the wheels, the gears, and also the frosted main plate here, which is something that is also on the front as on the back side. In the center of the dial, you can see the mainspring barrel which is like the centerpiece and also it's circular grained. There's a beautiful englage on the bridges and the screws are also mirror polished. Another feature this watch has is hacking seconds or stop seconds, which means that when you pull the crown out and you want to set the time precisely, the balance wheel stops. Basically the whole movement stops working so you can set the time precisely like this. This watch also features another Breguet invention. It's the parachute escapement shock protection system here on the balance wheel. The parachute shock protection system protects the balance pivot, which is a delicate and fragile component from breaking due to shocks, such as a drop or a minor knock. The parachute allows for a smaller and differently shaped pivot, which is mounted on a spring plate, which in turn allows room for play, thus also protecting the crucial pivot from breaking. So far, I've only seen this in Breguet watches. When you look at the case, which here comes in 18 karat white gold, but also rose gold versions exist, and also in yellow gold, you can see that the side of the case looks like a coin. It's very typical for this collection, and it goes throughout the whole case. What's also interesting to see is the lugs. You can see they are slightly curved and mirror polished. This might not be the most important feature here. The most important feature is that this watch here actually doesn't use spring bars to change the straps. It actually uses screws, so if you want to change the strap, you need to use a screwdriver or go to your you know, local retailer to do this for you, and you can change them. It's actually safer than your normal spring bar system. Once we turn the watch around, we can also see that it has an exhibition case back. And what I really like is that the, you know, frosted finish of the case pack is the same as on the front side. It's actually like a dark gray anthracite looking color. And what's also cool to see is that this side also has a power reserve indicator, which you can see here at like, let's say one o'clock from this perspective. All the bridges also have beautiful englage, 
the screws are mirror polished and the Breguet name here is actually hand engraved. What I also find really cool is here at the bottom at let's say 7 o'clock you have two small holes and when you look through them, let's say towards the light, you can actually see the pallet fork from the other side and the two rubies working. Let me now put the watch on my wrist so you guys see how it fits me. This watch features a tank buckle and the black leather strap here is very comfortable because it's very thin. It features a very low profile, it's actually 11.65 millimeters high. And turning the wrist around, you can see it has a beautiful case, again, fits very well on the wrist at 40 millimeters. Just for reference, my wrist is 18.1 centimeters or 7 and 1 8 inches. The price of this beautiful Breguet tradition comes at around 28,400 Swiss francs. Depends on which currency and country you buy it. If you have any questions about this watch or any other Breguet watches, let me know down in the comments. And also on the side, you have a photo of a watch we'll be reviewing next on the channel. It's something a few users actually wrote a DM to my Instagram and asked if I can review one. I searched a long time to get one in my hands and now I finally achieved that. So. I hope you can guess which watch this is, leave a like and also share this video with somebody who you think might appreciate this watch. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.